From that, we could conclude that Jesus is saying, be ready for the Son of Man is coming when people suppose that he's not. He's coming when things are not good. He's coming at a time where he is not on the minds of humanity. And we're going to find this to be true in the world. We're going to find it to be true in Israel. And very sadly, we're going to find it to be true in the church. Do you know that the vast majority of the church does not believe in the sudden translation of these bodies into the presence of the Lord, even though the Bible thinks or teaches it very clearly? Now, you might be thinking, well, the world and the Jews is pretty much a no-brainer. Of course, they're not thinking about Jesus' return, but the unexpectation that they have is what we're going to look at that should tell us the day is approaching and the rapture is near. Now, as we read earlier in Matthew 24, 37 to 39, Jesus said, but as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, pay attention here. This is crucial to interpreting the Olivet Discourse. For as in the days when, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, or going about in a business as usual attitude, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and they did not know until the flood. In other words, they didn't expect the flood. They did not know until the flood came and took them all away. And then he says, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, that's not the second coming. The second coming can be calculated and expected. It is 1,260 days from the abomination of desolation. It is 42 months, uh, Jewish months, that is, from the abomination of desolation. There's only one time where the Lord is coming where he is not expected, and that is for the rapture of the church. Yeah. Now, I do not agree with the interpretation that there's nothing in the Olivet Discourse that pertains to the church age. And the reason is what we just read. The flood was God's direct wrath on the whole world, right? And Jesus said what it's going to be like when there's another time of God's wrath on the whole world. And when that's about to happen, it's going to be as it was in the days before the flood. People are going to be marrying and giving in marriage and having this uh, business as usual, who cares about the signs type of attitude. Now, 